Good morning. Focus. Good morning. We're in Kensington Gardens. Are we? Yes. Oh. Near Hard good. Park. I've always wanted to cycle through here. Yeah, it's really pretty. Let's show you. Look. Oh, there's a little dog. There's the dog. Oh, this is the dog Alex wants, a black. Um, is it a Cocker Spaniel? No, is that a Cocker Spaniel or a Springer Spaniel? I don't know. That's a Springer Spaniel, I think. So that's your dream dog, isn't it? Yeah. But just... look how pretty it is. It's 12 o'clock and it looks like the sun is about to set. Yeah. Yeah, after last night's debacle, we went to sleep. Good word. <laughs> uh, we went to sleep. And we had that yeah. lovely vegan breakfast this morning. Yeah, we slept straight through. Yeah. If we, we hadn't set an alarm, I'm not sure we would have made breakfast. We woke up at like, what, half nine? Ten? Half nine, yeah. But by the time we got to breakfast, it was like quarter past ten. So I had a vegan French toast and Alex had the full English. <sighs> yes, I did. <laughs> but then and... we also got these croissants they had that were like covered in sugar and they're filled with jam. Freshly made vegan croissant so good. with jam and like homemade margarine and everything yeah everything is like homemade it was fantastic it was and so was, like, nice because in the uh what, what was that the afternoon tea we had yesterday they had kind of some sort of homemade bacon i don't know what it was yeah. made from but it tastes so much like bacon yeah. and even like the texture like and they must use liquid smoke i think we decided yeah it was so good and they had like five pieces of that and then two sausages which is like the right amount a lot of the time I've had uh, vegan full Englishes and this like one sausage. Yeah, it, no was, it looked bacon. really yeah. good. Yeah, it was, was amazing. I was jealous, but also I was kind of like, I'm having this tomorrow. Yeah, I really yeah. fancy something sweet something this morning. Sweet, yeah. I'm very much a person who wants sweet food in the morning. Yes. So Alex doesn't know what we're doing yet still. Nope. He He's decided he wants to wait, I guess, until we're, we're getting Maybe on the journey. Maybe. No, I think you should try and suss it out throughout the day and make yeah, guesses. Do you have any guesses? Out. I'm not really sure, because I, I don't know where we're going. Go on, like, guess, and I won't say anything. Make a guess. I, I have, won't react. I have an inclination, but Go I on. might be completely wrong. Go on. Because you said it was really cold, yeah. and you made me put this hoodie on, yeah. instead of my warm cashmere jumper, yeah. which I think would have been warmer. Oh, really? Potentially. Oh, I don't so know. I'm wondering if I that was all a big ploy, because we're going to the Harry Go Potter the studios. Is that your guess? Yeah. Only time will tell. <laughs> Although you guys will know, because it will be in the title. But also, I don't. I really can't tell because I don't know how long it takes to get there. Yeah. So I, I have no clue. I think I might be able to figure it out once I know what train or underground we're on. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure that's quite far away out of London, so I'm not sure if we're actually going to that. Okay. We'll see. We'll see. Ooh, that was what I sounded. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's a black swan. Hello. Have you ever seen a black swan? Have you actually, Alex? I'd probably not. <laughs> Look at the little babies. <laughs> They're all waiting for food. Still doesn't know where we're going. <coughs> where are we going? Uh, brewery tour. We'll find out. I reckon we're going to Watford. <laughs> so it's got to the point where it can't be kept a secret anymore. No, no, tell me now. Oh, he wait. knows. I want to wait. He knows. So we're about to get the train. It's on platform 10. I like to get somewhere between platforms 9 and 10. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Can I tell you yet? No. Why not? Because I want to be excited. <laughs> but you know! But I don't know for sure. Okay. You haven't said yet. Okay. Maybe we're just going for a, like a tour of the Watford Stadium. Alex! Home of the Hornets. Can I tell you or not? You don't want me to? No, I want to <laughs> get... I don't know how you get there, you get like a bus or something, I don't know. You want to get on the bus or walk there or whatever you do, taxi, I don't know. And then I want to see it. So we've got some Christmassy festive sandwiches. Hopefully these don't have any meat or cheese in them. Uh, well, <laughs> nah, this should be alright. <laughs> so, I think the secret's out, Alex. Where are we going? Oh, you just saw the thing. You, I feel like we're pretending like we don't know what's happening. We're not there yet. So you don't want to talk about it until we're there? You're so funny. You don't want to talk about it? We can do, or we can wait till we're on the bus. <sighs> so, come on, I just had to show him the booking confirmation. We're going to Harry Potter Studios! So I was excited? right. Are you excited? I was right, look. I made him wear his Gryffindor hoodie. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, I'm so mad about the jumper thing. I really didn't want that to happen. Because you were going to wear the cashmere one, and I was like, no, oh, he's going to kill me if he doesn't wear the Gryffindor I hoodie. I thought maybe that this was an option. Yeah. I didn't know. I had, there were so many things we could be doing. I'm so excited. So, backstory. A few years ago, when we were at university, I gave this to Alex as a Christmas present, naively, without realising the fact that it was in Watford, and to do it, we would have to spend a fortune. Like, this has been a very expensive trip. Well, you have to stay in London sort of overnight. Yep. Yeah. Took it there and back, blah, blah, blah. So neither of us live in London. The, I thought at the time where well, we could stay in Surrey and get a train up, but the whole thing would have been a lot Maybe. of money because it was like £35 each for a ticket, I think, or something like that. Don't tell me the price. <laughs> and then, um, I know the price. But... And then you have to get there and back. And at the time, I just couldn't afford it. So like it never happened. And it kept on getting postponed and postponed. And then we just forgot about it. So I was like, we're going to do this trip. Right. So this is, this is what you gave me for this Christmas. <laughs> This isn't, it's just a present, random present. I'm still getting something for Christmas. Okay. But like, I just thought that let's do it properly. Let's go all out. Let's stay at a hotel. Let's make it really fancy. Let's make a thing of it. Let's stay in London together because we never stay in London, just the two of us. And yay! <laughs> I'm so excited. How's this music making you feel? <laughs> Very Christmassy. So let me just... What? Have a look. Basically the same boy. <laughs> look, oh no, that's better. Look, because he's older there. There you are. I mean, there's a light on it, so you can't really see him, but there he is. Oh, look. This is your old bedroom. Happy you on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> Does that make you realise how small Emma Watson yeah, must be? True. But look how tiny yeah. she is. That m must be her height and her obviously her size. So small. I guess they were like. I yeah, they were young. But she's also, I think, she's like five foot four. Look. Stairs to nowhere. I love these fake fires. So like mesmerizing. Is it just smoke that's lit? What is it? Yeah. That's really clever, I don't know. There's so much going on. I feel overwhelmed, I don't know where to start. Look how cool this is. Oh look, Dan's telling us something. It was as if I was stepping into the pages of the book. And now that you're here, walking onto the same sets we've used for all these years, I hope that you too can feel a little bit of that magic. Do you reckon you'd fit in one of those little beds? Yeah. That's like the ones we had at school. <laughs> <laughs> Look, they have their dressing gown. My dad has... the idea of the, the sort of heater in the middle of the room and they would hang yeah. the stuff in it. It's very cosy. I love the Christmas decorations. Look, the big beams. 
What will we see, Alex? What do you see? Why are you in the mirror? <laughs> what do you see? You shouldn't be there. <laughs> oh, <word. laughs> Look at the tree. I just want to sit on those seats. Look. Visibility cloak. It's green underneath. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that outfit. Look at it, that's like the mechanism at the top. It's weird how like in the movie everything looks really real, like it's like actually real and then when you see it here things do look like props. Yeah, I mean, like, still, that's absolutely gigantic. Yeah, but isn't it interesting how they can, like, here you can tell it's made from, I don't know, plasticky materials, whereas in the movie it will look like stone, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, even the, the room, like, the books, you can tell they're not real books, they're, like, prop books. Oh. That's other thing. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool. Well. I mean, it's cool to see it because you yeah. can tell that they're. It makes it, it reminds me of when I did drama. They're like the costumes. Like you can tell they're costumes. Whereas yeah, you yeah. see them in the movie. But I mean, look at that. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. First glance, you would have like, Yeah, it's so cool. It's time to start spinning. <laughs> look at all these props. Oh, look the snitch. Oh, the stone, they're so satisfying. <laughs> and they remember all. Go on. How much do you want to go in there right now? Like this. What's that there? I want to go in. mind is being blown. I've never noticed that these had feet in the, on them. Did they definitely have them on the, in the movies? Can anyone else relate to this? Does anyone else remember the broomsticks having I feet? Their feet would be on them so you would see it in their scenes. Like, I remember. And I always liked that one because it was so sleek. Which one's the one? That one? The best one? Yeah, yeah. I like how it's like a bit rugged. Like it's like a proper broomstick. Get up. <laughs> oh look, here's where you get your broomstick shot. Are you looking forward to flying a broomstick over London? Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> no, you look evil. <laughs> so smile and evil. <laughs> Put the hood up. <laughs> Sorry, there's no photography in there. Oh, okay. There I am. So, sadly, there's no photography or filming in that area. And then it cost 20 pounds for a photo. That's why. Isn't that insane? I think so that's a bit cheeky, given, so, you, given how much you paid to get in. Yeah, you go and you get your photo taken. They don't say it anywhere. It's 20 pounds for each thing. My goodness. Like, wasn't it like 20 quid for, um, but it was 20 quid for the video each. 14 for, pound for a photo. And 14 pound for a photo. Not cheeky. But rest assured, it was very funny and very cringe. Those sequences are incredibly time consuming oh, and look. technical to achieve for all the actors. So each character has their own CG version of himself. So we just did this, where it's like a forced perspective, we'll put the image up on the screen. It was so good, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I think these should be our new bathroom tiles in our new house. Wow. Oh look, the floor's even squishy. <laughs> look how cool. Oh, I'm excited for this bit. 
We've been doing this really slowly, but there's still oh, so yeah, much yeah. more to go. Oh, look! <gasps> look at the smoke! Apparently we're about to see <coughs> spiders. I'm terrified of spiders. <laughs> there's an option to cut through if you don't like spiders. <laughs> Oh my god, the cobwebs. Insert our photos here. <laughs> I did not know you could go in the train. This is the best bit. Wow. So cool. I want to go in. I'll take the lot. Holy cricket, you're Harry Potter. Did you know you've got something? Is that the different bit? Nope. What's the thing spell she does with his glasses? Oculus Repair. Oculus Repair. Have you seen, here seen a toad? A boy named Neville. Neville, look at <laughs> You've got dirt on your nose, did you know? I was going to say that and you said it was from a different scene. No, but you got it wrong, you got the program. Now we want to go on a train like this. Me too. You can do it in Scotland. Can you do that? Can't you go in like Bodmin and do it? Um, maybe. Oh look, you can go here in the green screen. Not quite as popular and exciting as the, as the um, uh, Quidditch. No, not... Look at all the steam. My dad would like this a lot. Alas. Butter beer is definitely not vegan. Warner Brothers, make a vegan version for us vegans, please. He doesn't want to leave. He's still there. Hanging on to every last moment. Nice little crosstown coffee break. Excited? Oh yeah. Come on, have a bite. Is this one filled with stuff? I don't know. Try it. It's a winter blossom. Give it a bite. Good? Mm. We're on to the night bus. It's snowing. We're in for a bumpy ride. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's no post on Sundays. Right you are, Harry. Right you are, Harry. <laughs> Do some stuff with your feet. Crazy. Every last thing. Not fun though. How much fun would it have been? Wow. Bloody gigantic. I thought it was tiny. No? 
They probably had to build it as big as possible so that it seemed as realistic as possible. This music is making me emotional. Look at the little lights in the windows. Look at it, it looks real on camera. It looks like, right, guys, here's some drone footage. Right. I love how it even works on a small camera. That's your favourite. I hate, you know, isn't it in the movie? He kind of holds it like this. It's like, it's like. <laughs> no, he holds, he holds it. Yeah, it's like. He holds it really like loosely and horribly. Yeah, like this, like. You're like. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ooh, that's dangerous. You're not far off. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> we are done. How do you feel? I always thought Dumbledore was like massive. He's really small. He's like my height. Well, I'm not small. He's smaller than me. Yeah. He's about five foot ten. Huh. He's so tall. Five foot nine. He's um, so tall in the movies. Yeah, so we're done now. Oh, we're wrapped man. up. That, that was, was a long. long tour. What time is it? Wow. It is half six. So that was three solid hours. Yeah. And I am knackered, so because of that, I think because of the stress that I've been under recently, and also yesterday um, was a bit of a. But the, a I lava. also I've had so I've had really bad back, lower back pain, which I get from IBS. Sorry to like put down on it, but like I think that the food the food yesterday. Well, at least I don't know. It, maybe it's stressed it's, too. But the way people are dressed up for this. It's so yeah, cool. everyone's dressed up. I think that there's a thing where you can go to where it's like you dress up for it, like the Yule Ball. Yeah. Everyone's wearing like formal wear. Some of the outfits are great though, it's like really over the top. But I think we've filmed enough footage for a lifetime, so yep. I think we're going to end the vlog here. Hope That's you a enjoyed. Good idea. I hope you wow. enjoyed the Harry Potter studio It's tour. like too much to take in. I know. It's really hard. There's so much going on. So much. Like you turn another corner, it's also like, oh, vlogging it as well. <laughs> um, I felt like I kept having to get the camera, but hope you enjoyed it and we will see you tomorrow. Bye bye guys! <laughs>